Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Grand Ages Rome with me, Grey Hunter, where we're going to be doing the mission Divide and Conquer for Gaius Julius Caesar. So Caesar, tell us what's going on. My dear friend, our fortuna turns on us. That bitch! Pompey has defeated my forces in the Battle of Dyrrhachium. I have withdrawn to Thessaly and I will confront Pompey once again soon. The Optimates outnumber us three to one and my men are desperate. That is the advantage we must take. We can only win or die. The enemy still has other options. Your task, friend, is to guard our flank and stop Pompey's reinforcements. You must not fail, or I will be surrounded and trapped. I put my fate in your hands, friend. So no pressure. It makes me think of the uh, quotation from the Art of War, where if you uh, throw your soldiers into a position from whence there is no escape, they will prefer death. So we've got 45 minutes, and no more than 5 enemy squads must cross the map. You get extra score points if you stop them, all, and you gain extra personal wealth if you have 10,000 denarii. Well, that's not bad. Okay. Seems like a not particularly difficult mission. You might not get this one, but everything else seems fairly easy, so uh, let's get to it. Alrighty. So first things first, we pause it up. And we have a look at the map we've got. Hmm. Well, that's not bad. Not bad. Okay. Well, first things first, we've got fresh water, so that's a good thing. We want a road, I should think. Do it nice and straight. Nice and straight, I see. There we go. Alright. Good straight road. We we'll want one. Two of you to start, I think, so we can get some logging caps. One and two. And a third one of you to go with the brickworks once that starts working. So, on pause. We want at least two brickworks, I think. So we'll order up two more in Chile. One. Ah, oh, we can't order one yet. We need the bricks first. <laughs> there we go. Much better. Alright. So two of you, and if we're lucky, we can fit one of these in here. No, I have miscalculated. I've miscalculated. It's the most terrible mistake. Alright. Destroy. Destroy. We can take the popularity hit at the moment. So, let us first get prefectures. Temple of Mars first, then Vesta, I think. There we go. So, nice quick researches. Uh, we can get a water mill. So, we'll place the water mill. No, I want you to fit. Why won't you fit? Damn it. Alright, what about... No! <laughs> I was thinking, oh, that would be perfect, we can place the water mill right there, and then we'll have good access to everything, but no. We cannot. Alright, brick works again then, I suppose. One, two, we'll just uh, build insulate here. So we should have three unemployed houses. One, two, jobs there. We will, of course, require a water mill, so we'll place the water mill over this side. Ooh, aqueduct. We will want that. So we'll place you like that. Should keep those fields both active. We'll get a school, of course, because we are the Flavii. It is sort of our thing. And that'll be all of our Michelet. And so, then we'll get ourselves a forum. Yeah, I like that spot. And we'll need one, two, three equity houses to start. Oh, it's raining. And butcher shop. And can we fit a tavern in sitting there too? Maybe. Oh, not quite. Okay, well, there's good enough. We'll get a fourth. 
Cote House. We'll need an insula. So place that down here. And the reason we will need that is so that we can get ourselves our great farm over here. Oop. And then we can build ourselves a... Where is it? Wrong tab. An inn. There we go. We fit an equite house in here. Oh wait, we don't need to. We got one, two, three, four. Cool. So you can start researching extra stuff. Uh, let's get these three. And these three. We don't really need the military techs right this moment. But it'll be handy because it will obviously give us more money, more popularity. Popularity and money are good things. At least last I checked. So we can fit ourselves a Temple of Mars here as well. And we'll put an Equite there to staff that. And I think maybe another Equite once we can afford it. Slaves to run marble, I think, as well. That would be a good plan. So slave markets over here, hanging out behind the Temple of Mars. And we'll place a stone quarry. Oh, we need the close buildings first. Well, that is fine. So we're popular. Abundance, building frenzy, and efficiency. We are doing very well. People are happy. There we go. And we can get marble. Once it goes to the right thing. Marble. There we are. Excellent. And we might as well, seeing as we're here now, get ourselves extra farms in place. Hmm. Well... That's as good a spot as any, I suppose. Place the wheat farm there. And the pig farm... Must be placed close to an unoccupied fertile field. Oh, well... Yeah, that'll do. It should be within range. It is. Excellent. And then, if we can get another equite... Just over here. Actually, is it within range? Yes, it's within range of everything. So if we place another equite there, we should be able to place a prefecture around here somewhere. And do the equite shuffle. There we go. Cool. So we can draft our Praetorians as well. Grab you, put you over there. We'll need a barracks soon enough. How much iron have we got? What's that? No, iron. Uh, materials. Do the shuffle. Everyone should be employed. Everyone is employed. Excellent. And we can get ourselves some fountains. Why can we not put that there? Oh, rocks block it. Oh, well, that's disappointing. We'll put it there. And we should be able to place you... Excellent. Excellent, excellent. We need some iron as well. So if we place this here, it should be within range of everything. And we should be able to just slot an iron mine in there. And run it with somebody. No, nobody's close enough. Okay, well we'll put a temple over here as well. Temple of Saturn, I think. Yep, that works nicely. They can work there. All will be well. This will be run in a moment, hopefully. No? Apparently that's still not close enough. Okay, well, in that case, we'll just have to place you... ...there. And we'll get... What can plebs run that we sort of need? No, no, no. Yeah, a brickworks wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Placed over here. So you'll run this. You'll run this. You're running the iron mine. Excellent. Now, Pompey squads. Where are they? No, I don't know. Maybe they haven't arrived yet. That would be good. 
first things first, we need a barracks. So we'll build barracks over this side. And on top of the military squad, obviously, we'll place it there. Oh, I want you. Come here. Okay. I need another equite. Oh, that would be perfect. Equite to run the weaponsmith. And we should be good. Just build the road out like that. No real function for it. But it's there. It's nice. So let's see. We've got plenty of wood, plenty of stone, plenty of marble. Plenty of food to go around. Excellent. Plenty of goods. Squads. And everybody's happy. Well, they're mostly happy. Need a little bit more entertainment to make them really happy. That's okay. This affects everybody, that affects everybody, that affects everybody, and that affects everyone. Except you, but meh. Could be worse. Okay. So now we need a few more soldiers. Soldiers are very good things, obviously. We get some archers. One, two. And we'll get a Hastadi squad. We need a bit more iron. So we'll set the school to researching better iron working. We'll get that, that. Metal separation. Mm -mm. Do we need anything from here? Not really. Two more of those though, and then we can get the Spatha and the marching formation. The marching formation is a big one. So what do we got? We've got... Hello. Nubian warriors, you say? From a barbarian village. What are they doing? They might be coming out to face us. We shall have to discourage them. Oh, hey. Reinforcements, I guess. Looks for me. Okay. So the idea is to stop all of Pompey's forces from coming across the map. We might actually be able to do that with what we've currently got and not have to worry about anything else. That'd be nice. I would like to get another Hastati squad though. Just because I like my infantry. If you guys are watching my Rome Total Realism LP, you know I love my infantry. Um, let's see. Should be able to upgrade this now. Yes. Should give us enough to get another infantry squad, unless I already got one. Oh no, they were just going around. Sweet. Okay. So because we took the uh, leisure mobilization family talent, I think we can look at them from here. Yes, we can. So because we took the leisure mobilization, mil military academies and barracks train units twice as fast, and that is excellent. Because it means we can get a Hastati squad out in half the time. Plus, we've already got our Praetorians, so that's just an added bonus. Let's see. I have literally no idea what those guys are doing. But I don't like it. So I'm going to march everybody over this way. Go, go, go. They might be Pompey's reinforcements. But I don't think so. I mean, wouldn't he be using Roman troops? And they don't appear to be going for the for the sea, which is what I would assume they would do if they were Pompey's troops. I do not know. I do not know. All I know is that we're making a profit, and I like profit. One, two, three. You guys get to be control group number two. You, you, and you. Said so you, you, and you. Control group number one. Alright, they are coming towards us now. So let's try not to run out in front of them. I don't know, maybe they are Pompey's reinforcements. I guess we'll find out when we attack them. Seems strange though that there'd be a time limit for something that you essentially cannot um, 
really take out in a given amount of time. Oh well. More experience is good experience. Oh, there they are. These are Pompey's forces, I see. Well, that makes sense. I was all confuzzled for a moment. Well, if our Triarii head over there, we should be able to block him. And if we just leave our army here after we take out this village, we should be fine. Well, that makes a lot more sense. I was confused for a moment. I was thinking, but what? What's going on? So, no more than five enemy squads must cross the map. 45 minutes. I, is that that we have to survive 45 minutes, or...? Now I don't know. Now I'm confuzzled. Maybe it is that. Maybe you just have to survive 45 minutes. As I have said, this is uh, beyond the point that I've gotten to in my previous playthroughs of the game. Presumably they're coming towards us. Yes, they are. A military camp just here, so everyone can get be supplied with men. And our Praetorians are very important for this one. Kill them all! Archers retreat. There we go. Kill, kill! There we go. Much better. Alright, now we'll stay here at the military camp, get some more men, and then we'll take this village. Presumably they'll sally out and attack us. We'll take this village, and then... I assume... That that's the only place he comes from. He might come from... No, there's not a road going anywhere else, so I assume he comes from here. If we just uh, camp out over here, then I suppose we could probably just beat him. Okay. Yeah, I guess it is just last 45 minutes. Okay. Works for me. Uh, did we capture this milestone? We did. Well, that is excellent. Excellent. Now we can build an insula somewhere. I will worry about it in a minute. I want to secure this village first. So let us go and do that. Now I believe we can now get Arch of the Triumph. Yes. We place that there. Advance. And we're currently in a state of triumph, which is excellent for us because of that whole time teachers thing, which increases how much experience we get simply by time passing, and because of the triumph double bonus, we get even more of that. So our guys will be like level uh, 15 probably by the time you know, the mission is over. At least level 15. It'll depend on uh, what we have to face on here. Nubian warriors. Warriors, more Nubian warriors, lots and lots of Nubian warriors. This is a job for the Triari. Go and irritate them. Kill, kill! Run away! Run away! Or at least you. Run away. Oh. Triumph over. That's okay. There we go. We're back in triumph again. Hooray! 
We should be able to get another unit of archers, unless that was one of the bonus units. No. Alright, go grab this. Now, what will you give us? Subjugation gives us wheat and meat. Not really something we need, so... Burn it. Actually, no, three squads being left behind would not be a bad thing altogether, so... You know what? We won't torch it. We will maintain a military presence over here, of course. But we won't torch it. Uh, let's get another unit of archers. Place them over here as well. Those guys are okay. We don't really need to worry about anything. Um, let's just see now. Might as well create another little community. So we need one equite, two equite, three, four. But first, we'll get the uh, bakery and the butcher shop first off. And then we'll get um, a tavern. We'll place that in there if we can. Nope. But we can place an equity house in there. So we'll do that. And then we'll place the tavern Oops. over this side. What's that? I do not know, but it's a little yellow thingy that gives me extra stuff, so I'm happy. Stay tended, golden age. Oh, it'll be over in a minute anyway, because we're building stuff. <laughs> After you finish four buildings, it ends, so. Very short-lived golden age. But, we can get nice things. So we'll get ourselves an inn as well. Place that there. And we should be able to fit in another Temple of Mars. Perfect. So place a, another Equite house. Here, City of Nobles, requires more flour, right, I forgot about that, but we should be able to fix that up in a moment. Hmm. Is there any way up? Damn it. I'll have to solve the problem in a minute. Our allies are actually doing fairly well, but we'll jump in. We'll help them. Right, so we need more flour, more flour, more flour. To get that, we need another water mill. Build it there. There's no water supply nearby. guess we could place it here, here-ish, over here, done. Alright, and we should be able to get another insula and place it there. Okay, there we go, much better. Crisis averted. How did we go? Wiped them out. Excellent. Army on the move. Aha! They do come from another way. Cheating bastards. We'll get them. Yeah, so we'll have to trust our ally to hold our flank for us, basically. Subjugated, and they now owe us fealty. So, hopefully, we'll be able to just simply charge over that way and get these bastards. Actually, we're doing it the wrong way. We should just try to cut them off like this. Go. Okay, so everything over here should be good. Everything is good. Fantastic. Now.
Just keep running that way. <laughs> 